Namaste. Hey guys. So this is weird because I just woke up and it's like 11 o'clock. Well, actually it's not 11 anymore, but I just, I slept until 11 o'clock today. I literally slept until 11 o'clock today. And I'm like, what the hell? But I couldn't go to sleep last night. I had insomnia again until I didn't get to go to, I didn't get to bed till like four o'clock in the morning. So I worked on my angel messages video and read when I can't sleep at night I read I try to read and I it's usually either one of my guidebooks or something like that but I was reading the guidebooks for my new decks last night and finally fell asleep about four o'clock in the morning and then I slept until almost noon oh my gosh so I decided to get up and go for a walk with my son and my doggy and do get my exercise in right away when I have my my most amount of energy. It's sprinkling just a tiny bit even though the sun is out. Washington, bipolar weather. But we are we have a gig tomorrow. Um, Dean has Dean's band has a gig tomorrow. And, uh, and it's a good one. It's a casino gig. Those are our favorite gigs because those are the, the money makers. So we have a gig at the, a place called The Point Casino, which is up in Kingston, Washington. And so that's like about 40 minutes from here. Um, most of the band fam is going to get a room and stay there because it's far away for a lot of people. Uh, most of our band fam come from back home, like oh, on the other side of the water, the other side of the bridge. I know you guys don't understand that. Um, about an hour away. So when we moved here, we moved about an hour away from um, most of our friends and all of our kids and family. Um, but that's, we're going to be moving back over there. So that it, this is temporary. But it did put us a little bit closer. For them, to go to this gig is going to be a two-hour drive. And after you play for five to six hours straight, the last thing you want to do, and then tear down, which takes another hour or so. Um, you know what? People don't understand. People don't get this unless they are part of the music industry. That when, when you have a gig, most people come, they listen to the music, they dance, have a few drinks, laugh, have fun, sing. And then when they're done, or they're ready to go home, they pick up their stuff and they go home. When we're done, we still have to tear down all our drums, all of our equipment, pack everything up, and put everything away. All of the cords and the wires and uh, all of the instruments and it's a lot. It is a lot. People don't recognize, realize. Um, they look up on the stage and they see the, the band members performing. And they think, you know, all they have to deal with is the, the instrument in their hand. There is so much more. So much more involved than people realize. So after everybody else goes home, and after all of the energy has been spent to play the music, we have to dig it up, dig up more energy to tear everything down, load everything up, and uh, we have a band van, or a band van that we use to carry um, all of this stuff. And everybody in the band works together to tear everything down. Dean has the biggest job because the drums are so much, and there's so many pieces, right? Like Brandon said, that have to be torn, torn down, take apart, and put away in special bags and different things. But anyway, so um, a lot of the band fam is gonna get rooms up there and so that they uh, don't have to do that two hour long drive back home after the gig. But this is one of our favorite places to gig and I'm super excited because I love this. I love the casino gigs. They're, they're the funnest. They usually have the biggest turnout and they usually have uh we get the band gets big tips so they're the money makers so we're excited about that 
um, summer times here, basically. <laughs> uh, spring, summer season, fall season is the biggest time of the year for us. Pardon me. Um, for gigs. In the winter time, it gets really quiet. There's not a lot of gigs. Um, mainly just private stuff and uh, holiday stuff, and there's just not a lot. So it, it gets boring. <clears throat> My husband starts to get the restless feeling um, of not being able to play as much. So, come on, boo-boo. Anyways, we're always excited when it comes to gigging season. And this year, we are fully booked. So, literally, like, I think every weekend, I don't think there's one weekend we don't have a gig this summer. And we've got four major big festivals that we're playing at. So I have been making my jewelry like crazy because I sell them. I sell all my jewelry at the gigs and that's where I make my money the most um, at the gigs and at the, especially at the casino gigs. So I've been working my booty off trying to get my jewelry made and ready. I have over a hundred crystal point necklaces um, that I've made and probably just about as many of the little crystal bottles that have little crystal chips in it. Necklaces that I've made, a bunch of bracelets. But yeah, I sell, and I usually sell every single piece during these gigs. So I set aside a few to put in my, um, my giveaway because everybody's going to get a piece of jewelry with, that wins. And so that's exciting. And I will be actually, um, Picking the winners tonight, this evening. I wanted to give people a chance to see the video and enter the, the drawing or the contest, whatever you call it. Um, I wanted to give people a good solid chance to be part of it. So that's why I've been waiting all week. And then so t tonight, Drop it. I will do a, uh, I'll do the drawing. I'm gonna do it on camera so everybody sees that it's legit. And I'm super excited, I can't wait. And then I will be sending everything off to the winners on Saturday. So, uh, oh, wait a minute. I got to take that back. I, I probably won't be sending everything off to the winners until Monday because our little post office here in Port Orchard, Washington is closed. The, the lobby part is closed on the weekends. So I won't be able to send them off till Monday, but that's right. Anyways. Well, I hope everybody's having a beautiful day. It's Friday, right, Mystic? <laughs> and I sure hope you didn't have to go to work today, Katrina. But if you did, I hope it was a good day and happy summer break for you. Yay. All right, guys, I love you all. I, I hope you guys saw my angel message video I did last night. That one was fun. And there wasn't a whole lot of me talking about anything except for the messages that were coming through. So, it was a shorter video. I like doing those. And I hope everybody's having a beautiful day. I'm going to go so I can chit-chat with my boy. Love you. Namaste.